if the party can't be fixed, Jake, then I'm not going to be able to support the party. Period. That's the end of it. Kosich said in an interview with anchor Jake Tapper. Asked what that meant for his future in the GOP, Kosich said he was committed to the party and intended to win it over from the surging nationalist wing. I want this party to be straightened out, Kosich said. Kosich repeatedly pointed to public dissatisfaction with the Republican and Democratic parties, and referenced the strength of independent political identities. He said both parties needed to grapple with ideological currents pulling them away from the center, adding that he had no idea what the Democrats are for. What I'm trying to do is struggle for the soul of the Republican Party the way that I see it, Kosich said. And I have a right to define it, but I'm not going to support people who are dividers. Kosich made clear he did not support former Judge Roy Moore, the far-right Republican nominee for Alabama's Senate seat with a history of incendiary comments on race, sexuality, and religion. As for whether the Republican Party should continue to support Moore in the December special election, Kosich demurred and returned to his broader desire to reshape the party. I don't run the party, Kosich said. I can tell you, for me, I don't support that. I couldn't vote for that. Kosich ran for president last year and became a frequent critic of President Donald Trump throughout the race. He has continued to criticize Trump since the inauguration and expressed his dissatisfaction with the right wing of the party as well as some of its major initiatives, like its attempts to repeal and replace Obamacare. Despite a public alliance with Colorado Democratic Governor John Hickenlooper on major policy issues, such as health care reform and immigration, Kosich denied in August that the two would launch a White House bid in 2020 as independents on a unity ticket.